Hello friends, welcome to Solution Exam. Today we are going to see the design related with uh, biaxially loaded column. So the problem is a design a biaxially loaded column. Size of column is uh, 600 into 400 mm. Factor load is 1000 to 1600 kilonewton. Then MUX equal to 120 kilonewton meter. Then MUY 90 kilonewton meter. And the grade of concrete is M25. Then grade of steel is FE415. Then reinforcement is equally distributed on four sides of the column. Design the column using SP16. Okay, so we can use the SP16 uh, for design the column. Okay, so now the given data is so given B equal to 400 mm, then D equal to 600 mm, then PU equal to 1600 kilonewton, then MUX equal to 120 kilonewton meter so 1 to 0 into 10 power 6 newton m okay so here 1600 into 10 power 3 newton so then m u y equal to 90 kilonewton meter so that is 90 into 10 power 6 newton m okay next fck so the grade of concrete is here 25 newton per mm square then fy value is 415 Newton per mm square. So reinforcement at four side. Reinforcement at four side. Okay. For solution, first we have to find out the PT. Okay. So step one, assume PT percentage. So that is 0.826 percentage. So now we can take PT equal to 1.2 percentage. Now P divided by FCK equal to so P is uh, PT is 1.2 divided by FCK is 25. So solving this, we got the value of 0 0.4048. So next thing is step two. So we can assume the cover and find uh, D by D and uh, D by B, okay? D dash by B, okay? So now effective cover. So now we can assume effective cover is 50 mm. So that is D dash equal to 50 mm. So now D dash by D equal to so D dash is 50 divided by D, uh, capital D is 600. So now solving this, we got the value of 0 0.083. So we can take it as 0 0.1. Okay, so next thing is uh, D by B. So D dash by B. So D dash is again 50 and uh, B is 400. Solving this, we got the value of 0 0.125. So we can take in as 0 0.15. Okay. Next step we have to find out PU by FCK BD. So step 3 find PU divided by FCK BD. Okay. So now we can substitute the values over here. So PU is uh, 1600 into 10 power 3 divided by FCK is 20 and B into D. So that is 400 into 600 okay solving this we got the value of 0 0.266 okay so the pu by fckbd is 0 0.266 so now we have to find out the mux so mux1 so we know mux no now m we have to find out mux1 so choose graph uh, in sp16 so use sp16 graph chart 44 okay so now m u x1 divided by f c k b d square equal to 0 0.1 okay so so now m u x1 equal to 0 0.1 into f c k b d square okay now we can substitute all the values over here so 0 0.1 into f c k is 25 and b value is 400 into d value is 600 square Okay, so now m u x1 equal to 360 into 10 power 6 newton m. Okay, so now next thing is we have to find out the, so next thing is we have to find out the m u y1. Okay, so now uh, we can take, uh, so now chart 45 p u by f c k b d equal to 0 0.266 and p by fck is 0 0.048 okay so now we can take from the uh, chart uh, 45 so that is m u y 1 divided by fck b d square equal to 0 0.09 okay so now we can substitute the values over here so now m u y 1 equal to 
zero point zero nine into F C K B D square. Okay, so now zero point zero nine into F C K is twenty five into B value is uh, again sorry uh, here D square B sorry D B square. Okay, so now D is six hundred into B is four hundred. Square. So here also square. So solving this, we got the value m u y one equal to two one six into ten power six newton m. So next thing is we have to calculate the p u z. So calculate p u z value. So we can take chart sixty three p u z divided by a g. Okay. So now p is one point two percentage. That is p t c one point two percentage. Then F Y equal to four one five newton per mm square. Then F C K is twenty five newton per mm square. Okay, so now we can take P U is that divided by A G equal to thirteen. So now we can substitute P U is that equal to thirteen into A G. So now thirteen into four hundred into six hundred. Okay, so now P U is that equal to Three one two zero into ten power three newton. Okay, so now next step, so we can find out the P U by P U is that then M U X divided by M U X one then M U Y divided by M U Y one. Okay, so now we can uh, substitute all the values over here. So now P U by P U is that so P U value is a uh, thousand. Six hundred into ten power three. Then P U is that we found out one two three zero into ten power three. So from that we can find out zero point five one. So next thing is M U X divided by M U X one. So M U X value is one twenty into ten power six divided by M U X one value is three sixty into ten power six. So now we got the value of zero point three three. So next thing is M U Y Y Divided by m u y one. Okay, so m u is uh, ninety into ten power six divided by m u y one is two one six into ten power six. So now we got the value of zero point four one. Okay, so from the graph sixty uh, four. So find the permissible. So find the permissible m u x divided by m u x one. So p u by p u is that and m u y divided by m u y one. So this value is zero point five one, and this value is zero point four one, and uh, m u x divided by m u x one. This value is zero point eight three. Okay. So now the m u by m u x permissible is zero point eight three. So our m u by m u uh, x one is zero point three three. So uh, the zero point three three is lesser than zero point eight three. So hence uh, it's a uh, permissible value. So hence it's safe. Okay, so now we can calculate the AAC value. So for the main reinforcement, so now AAC equal to P into B into D divided by 100. Okay, so now we can take PT is uh, 1.2 into 400 into 600 divided by 100. So now we can take 2800 mm square. So this is the AAC value. This is the main reinforcement value. So provide. Provide ten uh, numbers of twelve mm dia. Sorry, twenty mm dia bars. Okay, so now the new AAC is three one four zero mm square. Okay, so next we can find out the lateral dice. So uh, lateral dice is a uh, diameter of lateral dice is twenty uh, divided by four. So the main force uh, main reinforcement is twenty. Uh, so twenty divided by four is five mm. So we can take provide provide six mm. Okay, or We can provide eight mm dia bars. Okay, so next thing is uh, pitch of lateral dice. So least lateral dimension. So pitch of lateral dice. So pitch of lateral dice is uh, least lateral dimension. So least lateral dimension is four hundred mm. So now we can take sixteen into twenty equal to three twenty mm. Okay, so that is three uh, hundred. We can take three hundred mm. So provide three hundred mm center to center. Okay, so that is eight mm dia bars at three hundred mm center to center. Okay. So this is a method we can design the biaxial column. Again, we will see next video. Thank you.